Well, today is uh, Sunday, March 3rd. Come back out here to do a little bit of shed hunting. Been doing uh, pretty good this weekend. Found a bunch of sheds and uh, stumbled onto an old one here. It's about, I don't know, five o'clock. I wanted to get out a little bit here the, this evening, see if I couldn't find any, and uh, we did. I walked this section last year, but this shed's probably a couple years old anyhow. I don't even know how big it is. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and we're gonna go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so I'm walking down in towards here. I jumped a bunch of deer out of here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of you know, feed sign from this year in here, but I'm sure they're in here. But I was just walking down this heavy trail here and made it to right here. And I stopped and I was just looking around, watching these deer that I jumped, run up through the woods and looked over and right there's a shed laying there. That and uh, seen better days. Squirrels chewed the brow tine off of it when I had one and most of its points. Out here doing some walking. Today's March 7th. Been walking pretty much all day and uh, come back into a spot I've been hitting. Been finding sheds and I, th I think it was the first fresh shed I found this season. It was in the snow for in the first video i'll show you the match to the deer but anyhow found a shed there was some snow on the ground couldn't uh couldn't match it up i've been looking for it ever since lots of ground in here for it to you know that it would be laying in and uh was just about ready to give up and i circled around there's this real thick patch and I'm like, you know, maybe, maybe they got a trail going through here. I don't know. And, uh, sure enough, come over here and they got a trail going right in through here. As soon as I come around the corner, I could see it here laying. And I knew right away as big as it was that it is probably the match. The one I found the first fresh one I found. So, so what I'm assuming this deer did. This is, he probably, he shed this shed last, probably, I would say. He uh, come through here, got in this real thick uh, brush right here, and ended up knocking it off. And this stuff is nasty. And that's him. It actually probably like a couple days before this buck shed, I had him bed down in front of my camera for like how long. It was in a weird spot. I didn't know if he was actually going to make it or not, but he shed his horns. Whether he made it after he shed his horns, I don't know because he shed them real early. Real nice one. Heck yeah. Well, out here walking this evening after work. It is uh, been the day, I believe. And uh, stumbled uh, across the nice four point side here, it looks like. Just walking some soybean fields. Got a lot of snow there last night. Well, not a lot, but you know, enough to cover up the leaves in the woods and make them hard to find. But hitting these fields at the sun hit first. Got one with the binoculars. So, so I was just walking this wood line out here and I was scanning with the binoculars that way I don't got to walk all this field been doing a bunch of walking this year legs are about beat but right here lays the shed looks like a pretty good one doesn't got real uh, high tines but base is base is pretty good Heck yeah. And I believe that is number 50 for the year. All right, well, here's a good one. I was on my way to my shed hunting spot, driving down the main road. I was probably going 55, probably. And I happened to see something 
that looked like a shed that I thought. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to turn around, get a better look at it. And turn around, go real slow by. It was only laying probably six foot off the road. And I'm like, there ain't no way it's a shed. All I could see was this much sticking out of the ground. The rest of it was uh, in the ground. And uh, so I parked the truck, walked up to it. And that was that was laying there. Pretty good uh, four point side, real heavy. Last year's, I don't know. There was millions of people that drove by this horn, but I found it and picked it up. And now we're in here walking on the piece of public that it was on. So hopefully, uh, hopefully there's some more antlers in here that we can pick up. Didn't film the pickup because it was so close to the road. Don't want to ruin this spot if it is any good. But uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can't find any more. But thought that was a pretty cool find. We're still out here walking around with this one right here. I, I don't know. I probably walked around in here for about 30 minutes now. Finally started to get in some more uh, sign here. Got rolled down close to the road again almost to where I found this one off the road and uh, right along a big heavy trail here lays this little three point here I just found. There's a bunch of hemlocks in here surrounded by a bunch of oaks and this year that seems to be the ticket to finding these big wood sheds. But I'm just coming out along the trail here and right there lays a little one. Now that's a weird uh weird shed that nerd definitely probably had a headache after he shed that camera won't focus no wax ring so he's been off for a little while that makes two for this uh piece of public right along the road righty well today is uh march 17th i'm out here riding my electric bike around in a bunch of these fields. There's some soybean fields, some cut corn fields, and some just green fields. I'm just riding the bike through. Haven't had much luck walking, so my legs were tired. I'm like, well, screw it. I'm just gonna grab the bike and ride around. Might not find anything. I had some cameras to pull too. And come riding my bike through this soybean field here, and I found a weird looking shed. This in here is probably the weirdest shed of the year. I would say it's, I don't even know what it's got going on, but I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures and uh, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys. But yeah, this here, I about ran it over with the bike, come flying through and I'm like, it's either a busted piece uh, from one fighting or the a tractor equipment hit it or something. But no, it's a goofy looking shed. So that's pretty cool. All right. Try to keep my shadow out of the film here, but rare's the electric bike. I was ripping it out across this soybean field and uh, that thing was laying right here. It's got a pretty goofy pedestal to it. It's got a point going down into the dirt. I don't, I ran a bunch of cameras down here uh, this fall through winter and I don't remember seeing a buck like this. So who knows? Uh, Yeah, he's got a point right there. Almost looked like he had a beam there. And like that was his like split brow almost. Maybe, probably not, but he had a beam right here. Busted it off in early season. He's just got a weird pedestal. I don't know. Hopefully uh, he stays around for next year. Today's uh, March 20th. Come out here to walk some private ground. Got permission to and uh, found one. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and pick it up. Right there it is. Yeah, I got a ton of history with this buck. I actually had Pile of trail camera pictures of him and uh he looked bigger on the trail camera this deer's probably i would say two and a half 
you know he just doesn't got the mass you know on trail camera this deer looked like a giant but uh yeah he's probably just a two and a half year old next year if he stays around he's gonna be a really good buck his main beams are pretty long so i don't know we'll see what happens to him and uh yeah He's a pretty good deer. Back out here doing a little bit more shed hunting this weekend. It's March uh, 23rd. It's raining a little bit here this morning. Wanted to come out and shed hunt in the rain. It makes it a little easier. Packs down the leaves. It's been dry. Leaves been blowing everywhere. It's, it's hard to shed hunt in them conditions, but finally we got some rain that packed down the leaves here a little bit, and I come back into a spot that I found a real good one in back in February and uh, could never match them up so i'm back in here hoping you know having these leaves smashed down maybe he'll stick out a little bit better but found a little bit fresher of a shed here probably dropped in the past week or two get in here and you can just tell the deer we're in here just tearing it apart bedding feeding they had everything they needed here and there's also a crick probably i don't know about 100 yards away from me right now so they had everything they needed in here they didn't have to move real far when we had snow but right here lays this shed so we're gonna go ahead and pick it up didn't know he had that busted point Yeah, he's somewhat fresh. But, yeah, good buck in here anyhow for a mountain deer. Still out here walking around. Got this one. And I was just walking out this heavy trail. And this is actually the same trail that I found my uh, smallest matching set. Them two spike antlers that I picked up this year. Them two small ones. This is the same trail I found them laying on. I just uh, walking back out through here and happen to see that land right here in the middle of the trail. But I do believe I have the match to this one too. That same night I found a real funky one in here. I would say that's him. He has about he has the same acorn like where he busted in uh, velvet season and grew weird then. I would say I got got the other side to him. Nothing special, but I don't know why I can't match the big ones up in here. They got to be here. Still out here walking around here today. March 22nd, I think it was. But anyhow, right over there, I found a leg bone. I actually stopped back here right around there, and I was looking at a scrape, and I continued to, out along the trail here and made it to right here and i can see a dead one laying right here i don't know what it is just pull it up out of the ground and see what it Yeah, just a little wait. Well, March 26th, back out here again. Haven't been shed hunting for a couple days now. Just wanted to come back out and search a few more spots that I've already been through. Still looking for one big one. Don't know where he's at. He was over here in late January and he dropped off the face of the planet and that was the last I've seen of him. I haven't heard of anyone finding his sheds either, you'd know, but anyhow, stumbled onto a little dead buck here, uh, just in a place you wouldn't even think. It's on this hillside, bunch of rocks, probably a gut shot in rifle season or archery. He's right beside a old spring. I don't know, I think it's from maybe last year, so that's some... decent color to it and i've always heard people 
say squirrels they won't chew them when they're on the skull attached to the skull but uh apparently these squirrels were pretty hungry porcupines whatever they were uh starting to eat his uh, main beams which we're gonna leave him right here all right so today is march 29th it's getting pretty late here in our shed season basically just out here pulling most of my trail cameras and doing a little bit more scouting before uh, fishing and turkey season comes in but i just walked through this real thick piece of laurel up here i mean it's thick found a lot of bear sign and i seen this big giant rock i'm standing on right now and i just walked down i wanted to see how good you could see into the laurel off this rock and i got up on the rock and i just scanned out through here it's all oak in here a little bit of laurel mixed in yet and got up here and i can see a shed laying right here behind me and up here lays a old chewed shed what are the odds of that just a little shed probably i don't know two years old probably it's pretty chalky but we'll add it to the pile well Today is uh, Easter Sunday, just got off work. Figured I'd come out here and try to find some horns. Have my own little Easter egg hunt out here. And uh, found this old Pepsi bottle a little bit ago. Never seen one like it before. It's a pretty goofy looking bottle. But uh, been walking around in here. I found, oh this year in this spot, I think I picked up probably right around eight sheds within probably a three mile radius. And I'm still in here looking for this one big buck, the five points I'd have found off of them. And I'm pretty sure I spy a horn down here, but I don't think, looks old, but it could be fresh. Uh, it's caught up in these maple, tr this maple tree down here. Right here it is, busted up, uh, fresh side. Gotta hurry up, my phone, I had to delete a bunch of shed videos off of it. <laughs> So I could uh, pick this thing up, but right here it is, buried in leaves. Been off for a while. Good buck. I mean, real, real good G2. Good third squirrels. Been chewing on it a little bit. But if he wouldn't have busted that beam, he'd have been a hammer eight pointer in his brow time. He'd snap that off too. But April 4th, out here doing some walking. Stumbled onto an old one. Last year's. Decided you're laying in this bean field. But we're looking for fresh ones. Still got couple bucks holding i had pictures of last night so there was a couple more out here too but we're gonna keep looking all right so that's gonna do it for uh the shed hunting videos this year just want to thank everyone for tuning in watching them uh probably not done finding sheds just uh the remainder of the sheds i find i'm probably just gonna turn into a short and uh upload them that way but yeah for uh full length videos this is uh this is it so hope to see you guys next year hopefully we can uh, find a lot more sheds this year i think we uh totaled somewhere around high 60s which is not bad for uh pennsylvania i'll take that every year and we found some good sheds but thanks for watching if you like the video, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.